The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, has made a connection between COVID-19 and multisystem inflammatory syndrome in children, MISC. Against this backdrop, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Hazel Laws reported on the findings and assured parents that the disease is rare. According to the CMO, at the May 18th edition of the National Emergency Operations Center COVID-19 Daily Briefing, the virus left the Western Pacific region, was imported into Europe and North America, and infected clusters of children in the United States of America, the United Kingdom, and several European cities, and they are presenting with what is now being deemed Pediatric Multisystem Inflammatory Syndrome, PIMS, and it is related to COVID-19. Now, these children, uh, they have been tested, and... Uh, the molecular tests come, some of them, their test results come back positive. Others, their test results are negative. But when they looked or checked them in terms of serology for antibodies, they found antibodies in their blood, which suggested that they were infected with COVID-19 previously. CMO Laws said research shows that PIMS is similar to the Kawasaki disease, a condition that causes inflammation in the walls of some blood vessels in the body and is most common in infants and young children. Well, this pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome causes symptoms similar to Kawasaki's disease, which is really a condition that is characterized by inflammation and swelling in the arteries uh, of the individual. Uh, mid, mainly the middle size or medium size arteries. So what the scientists are saying is that this PIMS or pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome causes symptoms similar to Kawasaki's disease, but they concur that it's a little different. So it's a separate inflammatory syndrome linked to COVID-19. So it's not exactly the same disease, but it's similar. Dr. Laws assured parents that the motive is just to relay information instead of causing panic. This new coronavirus, they are thinking, uh, causes the immune system to hyperreact. It's, it's like an exaggeration of the immune system. But it's only impacting a small number of children. So it's not meant to scare you. It's just to provide information as to what is happening. Uh, but please note that only a small proportion of children are impacted by this new syndrome. The syndrome is characterized by several symptoms, including prolonged fever, redness of the eyes or conjunctivitis, a typical rash, swelling of the hands and feet, headache, cracked and swollen lips, and a strawberry-like look of the tongue, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, swollen lymph nodes in the neck, abnormally low blood pressure or hypotension, and they can progress and go into shock.